20 in 15 measures we had for one minute only. <coughs> and Roger Andrea asked an important question. How do we move forward? Now the paradox as I got it, because I don't make speeches, is that my colleagues accused this side of making speeches, and in the process they made speeches. <laughs> <laughs> having said that, having said that, my Lord, an issue has arisen following disclosures by my Lord Justice Bremer about how this change has been constituted. You, it's now apparent that uh, the petitioner and the, fifth, the, the first interested party in Petition 15 have an issue with that. We suggest that we be given time to file a formal application. It could not have been filed earlier because the disclosure has been made here. And since that issue goes to the core of your capacity, it ought to be resolved preliminarily. Whether you have been properly impaneled is the most preliminary of preliminary issues. We add that you give a direction of the nature of a timeline when that application ought to be filed, a timeline when responses will be filed, then give us a return date to come and kind of ask that application on whether you are properly constituted. Because if it turns out you are improperly constituted, even the issue of recusal becomes secondary. But if it comes out that they, you are properly constituted, then the, sec the issue of recusal now follows. I add that if we follow that route, in accordance with my teacher's guide and Professor Gideon Wigai, there will be greater order and coherence. And I thank you. No, is, is that an adjournment? Is that Mr. Yeah. Boy applying for an adjournment? Because he's saying, and perhaps I'm <coughs> wrong, that even the recusal application comes after the termination of the question of pandemic. If that be so, and they may leave, they, 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 they normally leave court, they may leave, they left, uh, Senate, may leave court, we let them say whether they are going to adjourn it. That, um, is that the mark may normally leave court where the left Senate might uh, palatable in this court, my lord? I leave that. No, because it's an adjournment. No, no, is that the mark palatable for my lord and my lady? My lady, because you know, we, we have decorum at the bar. If you have a professor of law misbehaving at the bar, <laughs> then I am <laughs> urging that you direct that that remark to be drawn first, then we make progress. I'm urging, my lord. The remark was made in your presence. I'm urging it to be the drone first, then I can respond. My lord, I have no problem with the drone remark, but the point is, it is a vain application for adjournment. Because Mr. Warren said... Um, my lord, Judge Grima, you are a witness. But the issue of how this bench was impaneled <coughs> has been disclosed here, when we are here. We have raised concerns to Lanet's colleagues, uh, Kibe Mungai, and Lanet colleague, Mr. Njeru, uh, Mr. Njegwa, that we now want to take that as an issue. My colleagues have rightfully submitted that that matter requires a substantive application. Rightly, we agree with them fully. But you'll agree with me that uh, if you are improperly constituted, then you cannot make one more step. Is that in that request that my lawyer and Grima asked, how do we move forward? I also had my learned uh, mentor, Professor Gedo Mwega, again ask, how do we move in an orderly manner? I'm suggesting let that substantive application be placed before you. Being as preliminary as it appears on the face of it, give back-to-back -back timelines on the compliance by the parties. Let the parties come and now formally address you on that question. Let us have a determination on that question. I humbly